Hi there Jeep owners. Today in your 2011 Jeep Liberty, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Roadmaster's Stowmaster 5000 Lynette Ring Tow Bar. There's five main components you'll need when flat towing your vehicle with whatever you want to pull it with, whether it be a motor home or a tractor trailer. You'll need your tow bar, which is the connection between your vehicle and whatever you're towing. You'll need your safety cables, which is a supplemental connection in addition to your tow bar. You'll need your diode wiring, which takes all the lighting signals from the towing vehicle and sends them to the towed vehicle. And you'll also need your supplemental braking system, which will apply the brakes on your towed vehicle whenever you hit the brakes inside your towing vehicle. And of course, you'll need a base plate for your towed vehicle, which is going to provide the connection point for your tow bar to attach to. And this is what our tow bar is going to look like when it's installed. The Lynette ring will easily attach to a pintle hitch and the crossbar style end will stay connected here onto your vehicle. I like that it has a nice storage position that folds up very nice here in the front. It almost gives the Jeep kind of a, an aggressive look on it with this here in the front. So if you've got uh, kind of that feel that you're wanting to get on maybe an off-roading vehicle, this is a great option if you want to get more of an aggressive look. Compared to many other tow bars, which have storage positions that are on your towing vehicle side. So usually on the back of your motor homes where those would store. This one here uses a Lynette ring though, which comes in two different sizes. We currently are using the two and a half inch Lynette ring, but it also comes in a three inch Lynette ring. The only real difference between the three inch Lynette ring tow bar and the two and a half inch Lynette ring tow bar is the length of the arms. The three inch Lynette ring tow bar is going to be about four inches longer than what our two and a half inch is going to be here. On our truck here, we're using our pintle hitch and we've got it in the rise position because when you're flat towing, you ideally want to have as level of a playing field as possible here. Keeping this level will ensure that all the forces are being pulled straight. So we're not lifting up or pulling down on the suspension, causing anywhere on the components there. Adjustable ball mounts with pintle hitches are available here at eTrailer.com. We're using B&W's Toe and & Stow, and this easily allows us to just pull these pins, adjust to the right height, and get hooked up with no problem. This is a binding tow bar, so you'll want to keep that in mind. The small buttons here on the top will help release it if it does get stuck, but if you are in a bind, it's extremely difficult to press down in on these to get it released. In many cases, you're going to need a hammer or mallet to hit on it to release it, or you could purchase a releasing tool from Roadmaster that we have here at eTrailer.com that gives you additional leverage. It'll hook down here on the bottom and give you a lever to press on that will push down so you can get these released. This tow bar is going to be self-aligning, so when we take off in our towing vehicle, the arms will extend, lock in place, and keep our Jeep tracked directly behind us. All of the internals inside of the unit are going to be stainless steel to protect against rust and corrosion. And on the outside here, we've got a black powder coat finish, which gives it a nice look, but also helps protect the outside from rust and corrosion as well. All of this steel is going to lead to the 6,000 pound towing capacity that we have available, which will be more than enough for our Jeep here. To install our tow bar onto our Jeep here, we are gonna need to attach the attachment points that our tow bar simply just slides onto. This looks very similar to your crossbar style tow bar attachment. If you've ever worked with those, you'll recognize these ends here. We'll line these up and there is a sticker on them labeling whether it's the driver or passenger side, so make sure you've got the correct one. We'll then take the plates that come with them and the bolts. We're going to slide the bolt through the plate, through our bracket, and then through the base plate. On the back side, we're going to follow that up with a washer, lock washer, and nut. We're just going to loosely install it at this time. We're then going to put one in the other hole next to it, and then we'll repeat that on the other side. We can now lift our crossbar into position. This is our entire tow bar. There are stickers on top. That's the side we want to face up. Then we're just going to slide it down, lining up the pegs at the bottom of our tow bar with the holes in the plates and the holes in the top of the tow bar with the pegs on the top of our plates. Once we've got that on there, we can go ahead and snug up the hardware. We're not going to likely be able to fully tighten it down at this time because of just getting in there to get to it. But if we get it snugged up, we can test the fit. 
and then get it installed much easier. So again, we just want to look into Snugget just to keep it in position because we know in this position with the crossbar on it that it is going to fit. And you really only need to do one on each side just to kind of hold it in place. And then we just want to take our tow bar now and then just lift it up and set it down. We would just want to verify that it goes on and off easily and there's no binding. If there's no binding, we can take it off and then torque your hardware to the specifications found in your instructions. We can then slide our tow bar in place, verify that it again easily goes up and down, we're not fighting anything, and then secure it with the included pins. These simply slide through and then flip over to lock in place. When you're ready to use your tow bar, you can just remove it from its storage position. It's currently in that position now with the pin holding it locked into that position. We'll go ahead and pull the pin so we can pull our bar up. And we can slide the arm down. The arms here are telescoping, so we don't have to pull necessarily right perfectly behind it. We do have got a little bit of leeway here with the movement in our arms. We're going to line it up with our ring and then just push it right down on top. Once you've got it on your pintle hitch, you can simply just secure it. And now all you have left to do is hook up the rest of your wiring and your safety cables and place your vehicle into tow mode. And now with everything all hooked up, we're ready to place our Jeep into tow mode and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Roadmaster's Stowmaster 5000 Lennet Ring Tow Bar on our 2011 Jeep Liberty.